Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So in this video, I'm actually really excited to be doing a feature on an application that got launched a few weeks ago. Now that application is called Mila Note, and it aims to be the note-taking application of choice for designers and creatives. Now the primary goal of this is to deliver a really good note-taking experience, but more of a visual one. So something that is very handy for those who actually are in like graphic design or any jobs that involve visual communication. So today I'm going to be going over some of the features, I'm going to be sharing my opinion, and I'm also going to be sharing the pricing with you, and also doing a giveaway too. So to start out, let's look at some of the features. Mila Note is available on web only at the moment, and they have an Android and iOS app coming soon. The design of the application when you go in is having this idea of like canvases, so like places where you can start uh, scrapping all of these ideas together. Now, I sort of call this a dashboard in the back of my head, but I really like the way that they've created this. It has these sort of square dots, which remind me of the Baron Fig notebooks. So inside of Mila Note, you have different types of elements. You have things called boards, you have images, you have notes, you have links, you have columns, and you also have lines as well. Now all of these create the sort of interconnecting like roots inside of this note-taking application. So when it comes to adding things to the canvas, there is many different elements involved. So you have these things called boards. Boards are basically notebooks, and they're a great way to start adding branches all the way into different notebooks and to help organize yourself. Now inside of these boards, you can have different types of elements which help improve the quality of the board. So images are really impressive. You actually have the caption and you actually have the ability to lock the position as well. For the columns, you have cards, which are pretty cool too. So you can actually create these Trello-like cards. For notes, you can actually go into detail. So you can have a regular note and the formatting is so good that you can actually have to-do lists and other types of notes, uh, markdown notes, which is pretty impressive. For the links, you can also have an embedded link and as well as lines so that you can help connect all of these images and notes together. So it's a really a nice interplay of obviously the images and the text together, which is perfect for designers. Now when it comes to the canvas itself, it can actually scroll around and the whole canvas itself, whatever page you're on, is exportable in PDF, Word and Markdown. Now inside of certain boards, you can actually have this feature called unsorted, where any items inside of that board that, you know, you haven't really controlled at the position of where it is in that canvas, you can actually put it in the unsorted folder so that you can choose where that position is later. The customization on boards and images are pretty impressive too. As I said earlier, the images have captions and lock position, but the boards, you can actually change the icon, the color, and actually upload a thumbnail image to it, which is pretty impressive. Now, in terms of functionality, I found this really smooth and easy to use. I wasn't, I mean, I was using it on a Mac, but I could see that it was quite fluid. There wasn't any lag issues, which I've had before with other similar applications. There is a share function as well, so you can actually share any board or canvas that you're working on to other people to let them see it secretly, which is pretty impressive. Now there's actually lots more to this design and seeing that it's only available on web at the moment, I'm sure there's more features to come, but I was actually quite impressed with the original set of features there are. The only thing that I could have suggested was the fact that on iOS and Android, the experience might be a little messy, but I can imagine they'll come up with a fix for this. Now on other devices apart from a Mac, I can assume there might be a little bit of lag, but I haven't actually tested it yet. But I'm sure with a web only experience, that's probably the case across the board. Now when it comes to pricing, now they've done a pretty good job at this. So you've actually got a free plan to kick you off. So you actually have a hundred notes to get started with, which is quite a lot once I started playing around with it. Now when it comes to referral, you can actually, every time you refer someone, to an account, whether it's free or premium, it adds 20 new notes to you, and you can get a maximum of 500 notes. Now there's a pro account, which is $12 a month on the annual subscription, and that gives you access to unlimited uploading of notes, images, anything you like. 
There's also a team account, which if you have two or plus members, uh, it's $10 per month per person, which is quite good for team setup. Now, one of the things that were quite impressive inside this app were the level of detail that you got inside the experience. So you can actually drag notes, you can actually duplicate them and actually move content about into different boards, which was quite impressive. I like the way that they organize this setup as well. So you can actually like go back quite easily without getting distracted. Now the level of detail at this stage is very impressive. So I actually got in touch with Ollie from the Milanote team and they gave me a coupon code that has a hundred uses. It will give you guys two months free access, unlimited access to the application, which is pretty impressive. Now, all you have to do is enter the code on the website, which I'll include in the description, two for free. Now I'll include obviously this in the description so you'll be able to check it out there. This code will expire in April 1st. So if you guys want to get that, you have to be quick because I can imagine 100 will go pretty fast. But anyway guys, I thought that giveaway would be quite nice for you guys because you could go and check out things, have a play around. I can imagine they're going to be developing the iOS and Android application quite fast. The pricing is pretty impressive for what it is. I'm really enjoying the web features and I'm going to be checking out much more. So feel free to follow me on Twitter at Francesco D underscore A-L-E-S. And I'll be definitely sharing a few features that I'm enjoying at the moment on Twitter. Anyway, guys, I hope that was a nice overview for you. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about me, Leno, already. Because I know a few of you guys have been testing it out. I've seen it on Twitter and on Instagram as well, have been exploring the feature. I think it's a really impressive tool for what it's actually done in the last couple of weeks. So definitely go check it out. Let me know what you think. Make sure to enter the giveaway. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.